Good morning, happy Monday. It is our first official Read Across America Spirit Week. So today is Superheroes and I'm wearing my Teachers Are Superheroes in Disguise. Here we are. I love this shirt. My uh, partner, of course, has it too. So we're both wearing it and just plain black earrings. They're hearts though, so that's fun. Why don't I have Spider-Man earrings? I don't know. Incredible Hulk, Captain America, I don't have any of those. I did have red hearts, but this red is kind of weird and my pants are almost orange. So, you know, didn't want to be, didn't want to be doing that. So this weekend was awesome. It was super fast. I'm still, uh, my voice is still really strained, so I'm gonna try to, <laughs> it's kind of funny that I say that. I'm gonna try to preserve my voice. Yeah, do we remember what I do for a living? I'm gonna try. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. But um, <clears throat> on Saturday, my friend and I flew out real quick like to see my sister in California and get pelleted. She does the um, hormone replacement therapy um, and so many other things at her med spa. It's the Med Spot LA if you're in the area. She's amazing. Of course, if you're in the area, you better book ahead because she's she's amazing. Anyway, um, and I always have the her address and link in the description in case you do want those kind of things. She's the best of the best. Not to toot her horn, but toot toot, she's good. Anyway, we went to see her really fast. We got to go out to lunch with her and her hubby, and that was awesome. We went to a um, kebab place, and it was delicious. And then we got back on the plane and we're home before 7 p.m. It was great, it was really fun. Of course, I wished for more time, but you know, it was. it's so cool that you can be in two states in the same day, just get up in the morning and you know, I'm, I'm easy to um, fascinate. <laughs> Anyway, so we did that. It was really cool. Got home. Didn't do much Saturday night. I was tired. I was really tired from straining my voice all day, you know, talking because friends and family. And then Sunday I worked all day. So also I'm wearing my fun glasses. I'm going to turn them this way though. I'm wearing my glasses ring. Isn't that just the cutest? Is that what I, yeah, I usually wear it on that hand. So anyway, here we are on Monday morning. I got a bunch of stuff ready. Now I do have the um, game pieces made for uh, the, the week, for actually for two weeks I got ready for, I'm not completely ready for, it's getting hard to talk already. But I wanted to show you what I got. This is by Reagan Tungstall on, it's T-U-N-S-T-A-L, Tungstall. And she is, did I say A-L-L? -L? That's what I meant. Um, she makes lit kits for several grade levels. I got the three through five. So here's just a copy of all of the goodies in the first one. This is the one I got. Um, so this week we're going to be doing, during our RTI, um, some of my groups are going to be doing the prefix roll and write. And um, do I need this one for this week? No. This is the other one, irregular uh, plurals. Couldn't remember what it said. And so the game pieces for both um, oh, you know what? Yeah, I only, I did more than I needed to last night. What? Um, I also did this one. So if I wanted <coughs> to sub in this one, I could. High frequency words. Um, and then I laminated the word list to go along with it. And they have little clue, <coughs> clue cards. And those will let them figure out what the mystery high frequency word is. Anyway, there's lots in the um, bundle. 
it's a bundle, it's a kit. So she has, I think she has 10, and I would love to have them all over time. Um, another thing that I got, I believe this is Hillary Kaiser, and I, if I'm wrong, I'll put the product here. And this is a growing bundle, and it's just poetry uh, of the week. And then they do like a couple questions at a time. I think I'll just, we'll work on, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we get through. She had it um, two questions a day, Monday through Thursday. So that sounds fair. I mean, that sounds good. But anyway, there's, um, I ran off February's and March's. So two for February and then three for March. So I think they're really cute. They do little activities. What I'm finding with Benchmark Advance is yes, they include poetry, but it's at a college level and I'm not making that up. It's hard and the kids are going and the teacher's going. <laughs> and so it just isn't conducive to them, you know, learning. So I am going to use my centers and just you know, the poems that I found and have a good week. This is something I found for free by Whimsy Workshop Teaching. And since this week includes leap year, there's a, and there was another couple pages, but I just printed off the ones that were fourth grade appropriate. It is for lower grades, but it's okay. They'll feel super duper smart. And I always like that for them um, because they are. So there, um, I am gonna get going. I made some new coffee this morning. Um, I actually made it yesterday at my French press. It is Starbucks brand brown sugar cinnamon. I wanted it to be more cinnamony than sweet and it is, it's really good, it's really good. So I always pour like half to three quarters of my French press and then I top it off with just plain like Javi or Stoke or whatever I'm using. Anyway, that is it. That is all I have to say. I will catch up with you later after school. Hello, it is after, after, after school on Monday. It's 3.45, it's not, I was being a bit dramatic there. Anyway, um, our meeting is over. So I'm back in my room, gathering up my things, trying to um, have some semblance of order in this here place, and it's not going well. It's fine. Well, you know, mostly. Um, but I'm gonna clean up and go home. So today, <coughs> mostly, we just did um, our normal stuff. We worked on Benchmark Advance with me in small group. And then I'm gonna show you what we worked on uh, for writing today. Here it is. This is a product from Glitter, Glitter in Third, sorry. And since we're working on folk tales, fairy tales, fables, those kind of sort of situations, this is what we did today in writing. And they love this. I mean, it's this little tiny bit of coloring, but you would think that I gave them a prize because they don't get to do things like that very much. So kind of happy that I found these and pulled them out again. And other than that, um, I did give them the cursive writing. Well, the morning group, I gave the cursive writing that I wrote, um, everybody's names on so I can't show you that but I mean it's a plain piece of writing paper and I just cursived everybody's names they were so excited because you know who doesn't love to see their name all pretty anyway so that's what we did today I'm gonna get out of here go home I have a lot to do tonight we started our door display I'll show you once it's done um, for read across America week so we're doing a Dr. Seuss Oh the Places You'll Go theme and it's going to be really cool or it's going to be done which is cool <laughs> so I will see you in the morning <music>
Good morning and happy Tuesday, right? Yes. How is it only Tuesday? Oh my gosh. So I worked until 1130 last night <clears throat> in preparation for my meeting fuzzball um, on Wednesday, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. <laughs> What do I do for a living? I am a teacher. Um, anyway, our meeting tomorrow is to review data of the practice AASA test. I'm having a hard time today. Words are so struggly. Um, yes, so we're going over the data. <coughs> Last night's work was brought to you by the remaining Part of my, well, not even, but I had some Diet Mountain Dew. I needed something fancy and fun because it was a struggle. Anyway, you saw me laminating the words that I'm putting, we're putting on our door. Um, my partner teacher is doing the little man that stands on the book cover um, of Oh, The Places You'll Go. Today is workout day. I love today. I wish every day was workout day. <laughs> Struggle when you're short to get your leg up to, anyway, counter height. Um, so that's good. I got to wear comfy clothes, so yay. Um, every day when you're a teacher is workout day. Let's just be clear about that. And look at my hair clip. I don't know if you can see it. It is a coffee cup. Can you tell? Oh, yes. Anyway, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the day on about four hours of sleep again, maybe. I don't know if I got that much last night. Anyway, I would love to come home and crash tonight, but I can't because I have a meeting after school. It is the talent show uh, dress rehearsal, so it's not a meeting, but I have an event. And then um, Thursday is the actual talent show, which is wonderful, except for I'll be there till six o'clock at night. I'm just tired. I am ready for spring break, which we have in three weeks, I believe. Three weeks, yes. That's going to be a week of, I think I'm going to spend like one entire day not getting out of my jammies, for real. I've never done that, like on purpose. I mean, I have if I've been sick or something, but I just am exhausted this year. I'm so tired. And I knew it was coming, you know, new, new school, new grade level, new system, new everything. Everything is new. I'm just tired and I'm not surprised, but you know, anyway. Um, what I did to get ready is I uh, filled out a document. I actually made my own because theirs wasn't working for my, my computer wasn't downloading. Anyway, um, they had an Excel spreadsheet for us, but I just made a quick PowerPoint um, chart I can show you later um, without names, but I have the names of the students, how they did on every item number, and um, I haven't even graded the the writing portion. It's not long, but with 60 kids, it's going to take me a while. I have to have all this done by tomorrow. I'll get done what I can. It's not like, you know, a test or anything, but, well, for the kids it was. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm tired, and I gotta go. I'll see you maybe after school today. So I'm cracking myself up here in the hallway. We're putting up our bulletin boards, which are door boards, and I have all these extra letters. I don't know why. Hello, it's after school on Tuesday, and I gotta tell you, here's my outfit of the day, and it was the best darn day I've had in a very long while. Got my hair up, and I'm wearing comfy clothes, and it was a great day. So I helped with the uh, talent show. The kids are so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Singing and no dancing. That was kind of weird. Feels like there's always dancing at a talent show, but no dancing, singing, playing the piano, and even a 
dad joke telling duo. They're so cute. They're brothers and it's adorable. So anyway, loved, loved getting a little preview of that. Worked out some sound issues. And by worked out, I don't mean me. I was there as moral support only. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have another job really except just to tell how the sound was sounding and it was so cute. So I feel very privileged that I got to be part of this committee. Anyway, I am going to get ready and get out of here. Um, I think I said this morning, yeah, probably, I don't know, it was like hours ago, but that I um, am very tired because I was up um, until 1130 working. I'm not going to do that tonight or possibly ever again because it's silly. Like my coworker said, if I die tomorrow, um, they're going to replace me in two minutes. <laughs> so why am I trying to be all giving them my life? You know, I mean, yes, the kids are worth it, but so am I. I mean, not only my mental health, but my physical well-being. And I don't sound great, do I? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'm going to head out. I'm going to head home. Um, today we spent time catching everybody up still on it. Not everybody, but I had about 10 people per class that still needed to finish their, uh, practice. ELA, uh, AA, SA state test. So that's what we did. The rest of everybody worked on our new, um, well, we worked on our regular work that we had, and then we have a new book challenge, um, a school-wide one, and so we worked on that. I will show you, oh, you know what, I don't have any blank ones. Let me see if I can find one and cover up the name. Well, I can show you the back. Hold, please. Okay, so here we are. Here's our Read Across America challenge, and let me see if... I can, yeah, I can show you this. So we have, um, this is, if you want to recreate something like this, they have to do all of the challenges and most of them were able to complete them within like an hour, hour and a half of our day today, which was wonderful because they were, they were coming up and telling me all kinds of facts that they learned in the books. And it was a really good time because most of their reading took place on Epic. Um, they were able to just type in books about transportation, books about landmarks, USA landmarks, and it was just really cool. So we really had a great day. Other than that, um, there was not much else going on because like I said, lots of people catching up on their test. About a third of each class either needed to, a couple were absent, so they had to start and finish, and a couple others were, um, uh, they just had parts to finish and that was it. So I'm going to get on out of here. I might, I might shop just this much on my way home and then I'm going home, possibly going right to bed. But in any case, I'll see you in the morning.